Hey, this is Mr. George again. Going to come back and show you a little bit more about uh, some magnets. This is one of the Super Magnet Man's favorite, favorite things to work with in magnets. And believe me, of the thousands of things that there are to work with in magnets, this has to be cool for it to be a favorite. This is magnetic powder. You may not have heard of magnetic powder before, but this is extremely tiny magnets. I have some of this made out of alninko. On this side, I have some made out of neodymium. This is neodymium iron boron magnets in a powder form. If I take the magnet away from this, these are all magnets. We'll get this back up in a minute. I'm going to move the neo out of the way for a minute. I'm going to take this magnet and work with this alninko powder. Now, one of the things that you will notice and I'll show you some of the iron powder in just a minute to show you the difference in iron powder and how it works with this. But with the Neo or the magnets, notice the very intricate patterns that this can make. As I turn, each of these little particles is orienting themselves relative to the north-south field. This is not what happens with iron powder. This folds and flips and goes all over the place. It's almost artistic to watch this in action. You can see how this is just really flipping all over the place and it will wind itself off of the board. The closer you get, the more you can make it do this and you can, you can start, turn your magnet sideways and this just rolls in and out, in and out. It goes over and over. We can pull it away and they flip and fold again. The patterns here are so much different than what you get with iron powder. The interesting thing is that they actually both repel each other and attract to each other and depends on the orientation as to which one they do. To give you an idea of how different this is, from from iron powder, I'm going to clump this up. See how it makes a nice clump here? This is all magnet powder made out of alninko. This is the same magnet with iron powder. That's a little bit of the iron powder. Okay. Now, as we turn this, see the iron powder does differently because the iron particles are responding. Only when the magnetic field is near do the iron particles become north-south oriented, and so therefore all of them will stick together, whereas the alninko magnets are themselves magnets and will not necessarily stick to each other except in a north-south arrangement. Now, one of the things that iron powder can help you do, as well as the alninko, if you sprinkle it light enough, is you can get a good idea of what the magnet fields look like as you go up or down. You can see the iron magnet, the lines of magnetism changing. Now we'll look at the Neo powder, and surprisingly, the Neo powder doesn't seem as strong as the, the regular Alninko powder, but it gives us a more fine, detailed look at the lines of magnetism because the particles of Neo are much smaller. They react a lot the same way, but they are smaller in size. It gives us more of a true powder look. And you can see how these magnet lines flip and, and float and go all over the place.
You can see how they react to the more dispersed field from the square magnet as they get out to where the lines of magnetism are weaker. You can see how they are spreading out. But as they get closer, they begin to come in at an angle until collectively they produce enough force for the big magnet to stick. I hope that helps you understand how much fun it can be working with iron powder, with magnetized iron, uh, magnetized neo powder, or magnetized aluminum uh, nickel cobalt powder, or alninko. Now, if you take this away and just bunch this back up, it all sticks right back together into a nice little clump of magnetized powder. With that, we'll see you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.